I've been playing with a couple different building materials for electronic contraptions and for robots. And one of the most useful that I've come across has actually been the wire hanger. I thought I'd take a minute and show you how to use it. Here are two wire hangers that I'm going to uh, harvest. And the first note is uh, don't use dikes when you cut these because uh, the dikes are for soft metal and these wire hangers are uh, a, a firmer, uh, stiffer metal. I'm not sure if they're steel or what they are, but they're definitely they're going to mess up your dikes, so don't use them. Uh, usually I use a Dremel when I cut these and I'll show you how to do that. part I harvest it usually is just this long straight wire. Uh, you can use the shoulders here but then you have to unbend them. And to cut it I use a Dremel and I use this uh, cutting tip which uh, uh, works pretty well. And I, I don't know I turn it pretty fast and I cut it. And remember when you're using the Dremel always wear uh, safety glasses because stuff's going to fly out. Also when you cut it the metal will heat up a little bit so I don't hold it very close to the cut. Now that it's cut, you want to remove the uh, powdered coating. And you can use this uh, wheel bit if you want to, or you can use another uh, Dremel, uh, the, like the sandpaper one or whatever. But if you don't remove that coating, you're not going to be able to uh, uh, bond them together. So uh, remove that as well. Here are two uh, wires that I've finished, and you notice that I've removed the powdered coating. Uh, around the joints and then I folded them over and what I'm going to do is just solder, solder them together and it's uh, kind of it's better it's not as good as welding welding would be the ideal way to connect these two but the soldering gives it some mechanical strength although you should uh, fold it so that the majority of the uh, load is, uh, is, is held by this not by solder. Here's the final result I've folded them together and solder them and uh, when you do solder them you want the iron to be fairly hot it takes a while to heat up the wire and the wire needs to be sufficiently hot for the solder to adhere and you want to be pretty generous with the solder as well and uh, once it's uh, soldered together let it cool it takes a little while to cool and then uh, it will be fairly strongly connected and I've used this to build like little barriers and little gates and stuff and one uh, uh, connection is pretty strong but once you build this into a frame it's uh, even stronger and it's very lightweight as well and of course it's free uh, so there you go